Welcome to the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date is December 12th, 2019, supporting traders globally and achieving their financial security and freedom. And Miss Vegas has a wonderful watch list today and what a really exciting day it was today. Oh my God, so exciting. And uh, definitely just wanna talk just really about three tickers in particular. I mean, I could have, uh, let's say today, I think I could talk about 10 or 20. But I'm going to keep it to the top three because uh, I could just we'd be on here for an hour. Um, so we will be talking today about AMD, JPM, and NVIDIA. But before we get started, you know, the big news, obviously, is that uh, U.S. did reach a phase one trade deal with China in principle pending the approval, which obviously they did get the sign up in the end. So that was great. That was so exciting this morning because there was a tweet sent that China wants to deal, we want to deal, and then we were waiting on the edge because uh, President Trump was having a meeting with his advisors at 2.30 in his Oval Office, and then we finally got the word that the deal has been approved, and then we got the confirmation later on in the day that the deal has been signed. So this is fantastic news, and the market just loved it. So that was great news and uh, congratulations. But I gotta say, it was a bit of a roller coaster ride with many trades because a lot of them were stalled, pullback, ripping, not ripping. <laughs> it was just all over the place. So I wanna talk to you guys about AMD. So AMD had news, and thank you to my wonderful team at the Trade Exchange. Um, they did share some news with us pre market that they had unveiled the AMD Radeon RX 5500. You can see that here. Jim can show you how we traded this. So um, we did trade this one here in particular uh, based on that news and based also on the, uh, the China hype. You know, I've been watching AMD closely for quite some time and uh, definitely decided that, you know what, I want to take a trade on this today uh, because I really like what we're seeing. So we took the AMD option trade and we took the $39.50 strike and those were 59 cents at the time that I did see them. They did open at 37 and look where they went all the way up to 310. I mean, I, people were selling these at like a dollar because they were happy with a hundred percent or a dollar 20. Uh, and then some people just kept holding, holding, holding and uh, you know, held all the way in some cases to a little over uh, 275, but congratulations if you did trade AMD yourselves. And definitely keep this on watch. I don't think AMD's done. I think it's very strong right now. And definitely looking for a continuation and uh, looking for the stock to still have momentum and still keep going. I'm not going to be surprised if we can see this stock longer term uh, head towards at least, I'm going to say, 45 ish or maybe even 47. So, Jim, let's hear what you think about AMD. Well, it was definitely today was the day we've been waiting for for a long time, and AMD is in that sector that really depends on, on China. So that's what really boosted this trade up today, and it ran like a Dickens. We had to break a resistance pretty much right around this 4135 area. I had a 4126 resistance that we had to break, and we did that today. It had a really pretty good pullback. It was kind of consolidating in a channel on a 20 day channel for about, oh, 20 days in a way. <laughs> and, uh, but we had to break that resistance at 41.26 and then we had the high today of 43.27, which I have a resistance level at 43.20. So Miss Vegas is right. This thing can move up to $45, maybe 47. Who knows, this stock kind of been congesting here for the last, uh, Ever since it hit that $30 level, and we called this out, and I'm going to post this up on a yearly chart. We called this sucker way down here last year at $9, and she had a big run to that $30 mark that we've been talking about that we had a go to hit, and she kind of had some higher highs right there and then consolidated right here at that $33.90. And then once that happened, it went ahead and broke out, and then here we are with new highs. So the resistance, we got a break tomorrow. It's going to be 43.20, and then I'm going to give you a support level where I think it can pull back. We had an ascending triangle here, or at least a pennant flag into the closing 
as you can see right here with higher lows and lower highs of that big breakout and then we had the extended breakout on that after that happened so this thing's very bullish i think this can pull back to this area right here at 4272 for your first support then maybe your your probably your lower support i'd hate to see it go any lower come tomorrow at 4215 but everything got a little overextended today it wouldn't hurt for it to pull back a little bit and then try to retrace that top at 43.20 and break that and head to 45. So again, lower support, probably your, your third support. This would be your second right in here. Bam. Right there at 42.44 is going to be your second. And then it could run off that, 20, that 200 EMA on a daily one minute, or it can pull back to this previous high we had here at 42.15. And that's AMD. And the next one was another good play in the room. One I didn't take, but J.P. Morgan. Oh, yes. J.P. Morgan, another beautiful. I mean, again, we could talk about so many, but, you know, this one here is one of my favorite ones today, too. And the reason I actually picked this one, no news on J.P. Morgan, just the fact that it has 52-week highs. And you've got to pay attention to the stocks when they're 52-week highs. The only thing I will say I actually regret is I was so overwhelmed and so busy with Tesla and Boeing and so many other trades all popping at the same time because of the tweet that was sent that the US and China really want to make a deal and the market was just going absolutely crazy and I didn't pay attention to JP Morgan and then when I finally started to pay attention to it it was just shy of 10 o'clock and saw an opportunity here to trade this as a day trade. And it was the 136 calls. And again, really because of the 52 week highs just keeps making new highs, new highs, new highs. And we took this trade from $80 a contract went all the way up to 255. So an opportunity for a lot of uh, good opportunity here for 200% gains plus. Now, whoever caught this, I gotta tell you, whoever caught this at the open today, down at 12 cents which is 12 dollars a contract congrats to you uh that was an amazing entry and a great trade so if you caught that right at the open what a trade that was a beautiful and definitely keeping jp morgan on my radar because this just keeps making newer highs jim i want to hear about jp morgan you're going to hear about it and there's a good call All today right. we've had a nice little expansion breakout on this thing from the 120 area Right down here, you can see we broke that double top. That was about three or four months ago. And then we've had a solid run all the way up to 138.47. So I'm going to pull, draw one more trend line. Now I see right, I'm going to raise it up. Well, we'll put it right there. And then I'm going to draw some more right in here, try and find some supports for us, where I think she's going to pull back to. And we're going to pull up the 20 day now. Look at the 20 day. What a beautiful trade today, though. All the way down here from a low of right around 134, all the way up to a high of 138.47. I'm going to pull up the 20 day. See if I missed anything here. I feel like I need to put a little barrier right in here. So that's what I'm going to do for the third support. I'm going to bring this down. So that's going to be your low support right there, right around the 133.24 to 133.48. Round it off to 50. And your second support is going to be right here at 134.80. And then you've got a resistance level. And I'm going to adjust this just a little bit right here. We'll remove this drawing. And I'm going to put another barrier for that first support. i got to turn this up. Right there. Yeah, we'll just call it right in here. It could it could pull back to this area right in here at 136.15. So we're going to put that in there too. So this is how I see it. I see it pulling back to 137.41. Your second support is going to be in this channel right in here between 135.69 and 136.15. And then that third support is going to be right here at 134.80. And then a strong, strong buy between 134.24 and 133.48. With a resistance to break, let's go up to a three-year plan. See if I can find anything on the three-year. Nope, we're at a three-year high right now. So let's see if this thing wants to pull back a little bit to any of them support levels. 
and then resistance it's going to have to break is going to be that 138.47 and what a great trade today and the next one we're going to talk about one that Jim Cramer's bullish on and I'm bullish on and Vegas is bullish on and that's NVDA yes NVIDIA so you know NVIDIA obviously uh, this uh, technology company incorporated in Delaware, but in located in California in Santa Clara. And, you know, they're one of AMD's competitors. I mean, they design the graphic processing units, which everyone refers to as GPUs. Uh, they're very into the gaming and professional markets as well. They do what they call the SOCs, which is the system on a chip. And uh, they do a lot of stuff for mobile computing in the automotive market. So definitely... NVIDIA is one to watch. I mean, obviously, we know AMD is one of the competitors, but so is uh, Qualcomm, so is Intel. So definitely keep this on watch because this is one that is definitely having its moment. So let me hear about NVIDIA, Jim, because I'm not currently in an NVIDIA trade, but I'm definitely going to be looking at it tomorrow. Right. Well, I've got this all pretty well fogged up with a lot of trend lines. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and erase them all real fast because I didn't think it was this blurry. So we're going to draw some resistant support levels. We've got one right here at 221.41. We've got another one right here at 222.68. And then we're going to have us another one right down here at the 219 level. So right now, after hours, we're in a double top at 224.85. And I'm going to pull that up on daily one minute and see if I can find one more little creature right down here in case it knives on us at 215.53. I don't think we'll see that, but you never know. Chip makers, I'm going to be bullish on into the year and maybe into next year. So don't leave out MU. Let's go ahead and pull this MU. And that would get you a little thing going on with all them. we got a lot more room to climb on this trade. I think it's over. It, it was oversold. We bounced off this 200 a couple of times. This is on a three-year chart, so I'm going to draw me a little resistance right here for our next resistance to go to. Then we got another one right there and another one right here. So I'm going to have three resistances that we're going to reach. Yeah, put it right there. So I'm going to bring this up to a 20-day. Beautiful. Got a little support right in here, 22406. I think, yeah, I'll put that in there. I think it can pull back more. Yeah, first support is going to be here at 22268. If it pulls back to that, that'll be a nice little place to get in it. 22268. Don't go in too deep. Definitely a solid support here at 22141, and that third one's going to be right down here at 21998. Then you gotta, you know, you can keep just drawing them on down as they go at 218.15. So let's see our resistance levels. We got 226.48. First, we gotta break this resistance. We do have a double top after hours. And I'll pull that up on a daily one minute. Draw that trend line right there. Then you got another one right here. So we're gonna relook at this. You see where that 200 EMA is right there? And that trend line I just drew, I drew it from that pullback right there after hours and, and to this consolidated area where it had that, it had that breakout, and it run right into that 200. So that's going to be your first support. 223.28. The second one's going to be right down in this area here, and I'm going to adjust it to 222.26. And then the third support is going to be right down here at the 221.48. And if it falls down more than that, it's going to be a strong buy. And the resistance levels that we got to get to, I'm going to pull up to six month, magnify this up. I don't know if I can do that. Yeah. So we got to break the resistance level of right here at 224.79. Then we have the 226.48 after that and the 228.94. Now, if this pulls back to this area right in here at the 221.47 area, we did have a top there. And that's going to make it a real strong support. So always keep that in mind when you're looking at the, this is a six-month chart right here. But that number is 221.41, 221.37, area. Strong buy. And that's going to be NVDA. And that is it for the aftermarket report. 
but I want to look at this one more time in a daily time frame one minute this 221.41 like I said is going to be your strong strong buy that's going to be your low 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 support your, your third one's right here where we had the mountain this morning at 222.26 222.68 and 223.32 with a resistance to break of 224.79. And that's it with a market report. Please go to our website. Follow us on Twitter. If you're not in the room, hit that like button. Follow us. And we're also got a couple links here to stock twits, Pinterest, our YouTube channel. Please subscribe and ring that bell for future updates. And we do have a merchandise store if you decide you want to buy some merchandise and miss vegas anything else you'd like to say really it was a great day today i've waited for this day for a long time and it it just didn't play out for me right today <clears throat> My know, i think uh today uh i mean tomorrow looks like a like so far market's still looking strong because i'm actually watching as we speak okay i mean amd is about to have a double top break tesla's holding up you know, at 359.32, Boeing's holding up as well. Yep. You know, Boeing was meeting with the FAA today, but, you know, had a huge pullback and then totally reversed. So uh, that'll be for sure someone to watch tomorrow too. So, I mean, the market's looking pretty strong, pretty green. I think everyone's finally relieved about this trade deal finally being signed and uh, can actually maybe breathe a sigh of relief. So we'll see what the market shows us tomorrow. I'm excited for Friday. Hopefully it's going to be more green. All right, this is the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. <clears throat> Today's date, December 12th, 2019, and we love stocks.